SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we got news out of T-Mobile. They're opening up a new beta testing feature uh, with respect to network slicing. This is a big 5G development, I would say. Uh, probably more so important to enterprise and business. But they're going to be building networks and having network access for you, the customer. So this is why we're going to track it here. We'll do that in today's video. The article will be linked in the description. And if you want to support the channel, you can support us through the different links that are there in the description as well. All right, T-Mobile opens up network slicing beta nationwide. So th this was an announcement that was made a few weeks ago uh, where T-Mobile said that they had opened up the beta testing for video calling network slicing. All right, now the way that this network slicing thing works is you need a standalone 5G network core and it needs to be operational in order to do that. Right, um, T-Mobile runs a converged 4G LTE and 5G network core, and uh, you know they they've been developing, you know these these new features in their labs, and they they've had like different types of programs that you know they're trying to push the industry forward with these new features, and um, I don't really think it was going anywhere. Uh, I don't think there was much happening. It was pretty quiet for the last few years, and then what they did was they opened it up. Right, they started to offer this network slicing beta to developers uh, for video calling applications. And then what they did with this announcement is they basically said, you know, we're going to open this up to a nationwide basis and we're not just going to restrict it to video calling. We're going to open it up for iOS and Android developers. And, you know, instead of just restricting it to a specific platform, we're going to open it up completely to other application types as well. All right. So this is good. So if there's you know, security uh, features like with respect to cameras or any type of monitoring, uh, those types of applications can get involved now. It doesn't have to be just for, you know, the sake of video calling. So it could be, you know, uh, order placement. It could be, you know, uh, I don't know, what, what are the inventories, you know, within warehouses or whatever. It, all this stuff can now be explored. So lots of 5G use cases. Now, the second thing that they announced was uh, there was like a secure internet feature uh, that that network slice that T-Mobile was discussing. I find that ironic. Anything that has to do with security and T-Mobile, I think, is a bad joke. Uh, but they, they also announced that. Uh, so remote networks, corporate applications, resource allocations, you know, different types of uh, granular uh, setups within networking pieces, uh, you know, and then you can build slices within slices. You know, so there's all these different things. Uh, you know, T-Mobile wants to be in an innovative company. They want to be in an innovative place. And they're they're allowing others to kind of have their opportunity to play, experiment, test, try things out, and then tell T-Mobile, hey, we really like this. This worked out nicely. You know, we want to do this. And then T-Mobile say, okay, yeah, yeah, we could do that. So this is basically uh, what AT&T and you know, um, Verizon have been doing for a long time with respect to their wireline networks and providing also, you know, network as a service. That's all T-Mobile wants to do here. T-Mobile wants to sell their network, right? And network slicing allows them to sell to enterprises and having that network slicing capability brings flexibility to wireless network. You know, companies are really interested with this, right? They, re they really want to see what can they do with their point of sales devices? What can they do with their security cameras? Uh, connecting tablets and inventory management and uh, employee management. That's where I think all this comes into play. Uh, now, with respect to you, the end user, there may come a point where you are on a business's network slice, right? And T-Mobile would be the network service provider. That's kind of where this is going, folks. But, uh, it, you know, I've said this before on other videos. I've said it before on other live streams. The telcos don't really innovate it's it's i mean network slicing is a standard right so it's not really innovating but they have to start monetizing and this is going to how they do it so maybe they can innovate in monetization and this could be one of the things that gets them kicking down the doors of enterprise and say look what we can do for you this is what our network is capable of doing you know use our network to do all this stuff um we'll see how this plays out just put this on the back burner put it in the on the shelf for a future reference to see when and if this catches on here this year moving into next year and i think 2025 is going to be a bigger year for 5g sa use cases we'll see 
Love to hear what you guys have to say on this. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.